with something a bit small. Super Lizard. 
There's no such car as that. Shall I check on the back of my hand what it's really called? Yes. It's the TV Super Leopard. <laughs> Sorry. What? The TV Super Leopard? No yeah. one that either. So, uh, James and I are actually going out to China in the next few weeks, actually, yeah. so we can drive some of their cars. Um, my microphone broke there, luckily. Uh, to see whether or not we will be driving them. Yes, we will report that. I, I've been driving the um, VW Up, as they call it. You've okay, yeah. got there, there's a picture of it. It's a, it's a small hatchback, really. The weird thing is that right from launch, they're bringing out some special editions. They've done a white one, which they're calling the White Up. And they... Well, they've done a black one. Well, they haven't called it. They're not. They have. Well, black Up. Yeah, you can't call a car black Up. We know that, but the Germans, because they weren't in Britain in the 1970s, don't realise that you can't really say that. Have they left a white bit all around the grid at the front? I don't know. Do its uh, door mirrors go like that when it arrives? <laughs> they haven't thought that through, have they? They did. That's a stupid issue. It should be called the VW Cock Up. Yes. <laughs> hey, now, I'm talking of Cock Ups, Richard Hammond news. What? Uh, you may, uh, I know, recently he bought a Lamborghini Gallardo Spider. Um, so we have a photograph of his very car, there it is. Now he sold that because... Hey, I, I just felt a bit conspicuous here. Yeah, okay. you said you stood out in a crowd too much. Yes. You've replaced it with what? It doesn't matter, none of your business, let's move on. Well, you're not going to tell everyone, but don't worry, because I am. He's replaced it with this. No! <laughs> it's pink! I like it! You've got leather trousers and a pink! Van. That is a camper van in so many ways. <laughs> <laughs> right. Well, the thing is, Hammond, you hate, well, we all hate the Volkswagen Beetle. Yes. But I don't have a Beetle because I hate it. You do. It is, that's not a Beetle. It is a Beetle. It's a Nazi shuttle bus <laughs> version of a Beetle. It's not. It is. It's it modernised, though, in fairness, it's modernised. It's gone sand now. Really? Actually, I have a little ride with it there, but I'm sure I heard it say, at the roundabout, please take the third ride. <laughs> We've strained off cars again, yeah, haven't yeah, we? Yes. Yeah. Uh, we're going to strain more. Now, this show look, that we've got lined up for you uh, this afternoon, uh, it's themed around the Olympics because, as you probably know, there is a running and jumping competition in East London next summer. Are you going? Uh, no. You yeah, haven't said the particular one. I'm not interested. Why do I want to watch somebody running? When I'm driving along here this morning, I saw a jogger and I said, Children, children, let's stop and watch the jogger go. Oh, and it'll be great. Is it, is it great? That's the thing about the Olympics, there is nothing of interest to see, really, is it? Because coming up next, the jumping as far as you can into a sandpit competition. I don't care. I don't care what they say. The Hungarian man has jumped six feet, now let's see if the American man can jump further. I'm not bothered. I'm, I'm glad you said that, because I was beginning to think, why would you go and watch a woman whirl round and round three times and then throw a saucer? Because I can see that. Oh, I can see that. I can see that. I throw a saucer away. Now, um, so we decided we, we would see if we could do a better job the Olympics in here for you today using cars. Uh, but obviously you need an opening ceremony. Now the actual opening ceremony that we're getting in London next year, we've been told it's going to be sustainable and eco, which means it'll be people sitting in a yurt eating nuclear free crisps, I should imagine. And do you know how much tickets are for the opening ceremony in London? Yeah, I think good. Two thousand pounds. Really? Yeah. And for that you get to see some Korean people in blazers waving flags. It's not right. No, it is. No, we think we can do better, actually, ladies and gentlemen. So if you'd just like to reassemble our motorised stage and fire up the one thousand horse pound mini engine, yeah, that we've, we've, got 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 we've got to clear off out of here. Because we would ask you now, ladies and gentlemen, to welcome, please, with our version of an Olympic Games opening ceremony, steady. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay.